Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I wanted to talk about something that happens to me when I eat a zero carb carnivore diet. And yes, I am definitely 100% pro carnivore diet, but for me, zero carb is not a good idea whatsoever. I've mentioned this briefly in other videos before, but I wanna focus upon the only issue that it seems to cause in me. So when I eat zero carb, I get extreme fatigue. And I wanna be making this video because I know this happens to some other people on the carnivore diet when they try to be completely zero carb. And yeah, this is not something that happens to everyone on a carnivore diet. So many people feel amazing on a zero carb carnivore diet. And if they try to have some sort of animal based carb sources, it actually makes them feel awful. But as we know, we are not all the same. We all have different genes. We all have a different past history with our diet and our health and many other different contributing factors that make it so certain things that may work for others may not work for others us and it's all about listening to our own body not even our own head or people outside of ourselves telling us that zero carb is the best when if you're not feeling good from it then maybe it's not for you and i know what so many of the carnivore people out there are going to think and say on this video that i'm making now is you weren't even consuming enough water or you weren't having enough salt or you weren't eating enough meat, or you needed more fat, or you needed more protein, or something else. And I tell you, from my own personal experience, and I hadn't actually done a zero carb day for quite some time because it wasn't making me feel good in the past. It's why I actually quit the carnival diet after 30 days, which we'll talk about more in a video that I link up above. But then I had people, as I've mentioned before in past videos, say, we'll try some raw milk, even raw honey. And that made it so I felt amazing on a carnival diet. And so I could actually stick to it and not have extreme fatigue. And maybe this is something that you need to do to have optimal energy levels on a carnivore diet. And yes, I tried eating more fat at certain times, more protein, different types of meat, beef only, and guess what? I was still getting this extreme fatigue. And I actually ran out of raw milk recently. There was an issue with the delivery. So I ended up eating meat twice in a day, which I haven't done in a very, very long time because I normally consume raw milk with raw honey all the way throughout the day and then have one zero carb carnival meal later in the day, which is normally beef with raw cheese, unrefined sea salt and pepper. I actually did a what I eat in a day video showing that. If you want to see that, click the link up above. So yeah, I ended up having a chicken thigh meal earlier in the day and I felt sleepy for around four hours and then that passed, but my energy levels were still not optimal. Then I had a beef meal later on that evening and oh my God, it just completely wiped me out. It felt like I had chronic fatigue or adrenal fatigue, which I've had many, many years ago. So I'm very aware of what that feels like. And it made me fall asleep really easy. Had a really good sleep because it pretty much just knocked me out because I felt just so heavy and just so tired. And then when I woke up the next day, I still felt the same way throughout the whole day. It just completely floored me. And I was like, man, I haven't tried this in a long time, but I'm definitely not doing it. So yeah, from my own personal experience of trying it again, it's just not good. So yeah, you may be wondering, why does this go on with some people? Well, maybe you're just not gonna know the reason as to why. And you may be doing every single bit of the carnival diet correctly, because I'm someone that researches things inside and out. Once I marked on the carnival diet back in November last year, when I get excited about a new diet, I will just learn from the best teachers on the subject and just find out all the information I need to make it work for me. So yeah, I did all the things that I could do to make it work. But the reason why I believe that it doesn't work for me is I have a very low body fat percentage. As you can see here, there is not much to grab on to whatsoever. So I think for that reason, and due to me having an insanely fast metabolism, literally I could not get fat even if I tried to. I could eat thousands and thousands and thousands of calorie every single day, calories, not calorie, and I just wouldn't get fat in any way, shape or form. This is happening due to one reason, genes, and all of my family members seem to have genes that make them stay really, really lean very, very easily. Which I know a lot of people would love to have these types of genes. But yeah, as you know, we have a world where we have so many 
obese people and the rate of obesity and the amount of people getting obese across the globe it just keeps going up and up and up at astronomical rates so yeah if you're someone that's suffering with fatigue on a carnal diet maybe you need some animal based carb sources i find the raw milk with the raw honey which i normally drink around a gallon a day just makes me have optimal energy levels that are not up and down whatsoever yes i'm getting a lot of carbs from those two food sources but it doesn't make my blood sugar level skyrocket and drop whatsoever I have sustained energy throughout the whole day it's really really easy to digest and assimilate it's one of the most nutrient rich foods that you can consume in the world more so the raw milk rather than the raw honey and it tastes really good and it just makes me feel amazing in so many other different ways as well so it works for me but I know for some people they cannot touch raw honey or raw milk with a barge pot it makes them feel absolutely horrible but like i said for me it makes it feel amazing so maybe you want to experiment with this and try it out and i'm someone that leads a very busy lifestyle so yeah maybe that's also a contributing factor as well but i know there's loads of other people that are very busy that eat a carnivore diet the zero carbon it works really well for them but yeah, just try different things with the carnival diet. If your energy levels are low, if you're not feeling good on it, don't necessarily give it up. Maybe you just need to make some modifications to it to make it work for you. Or maybe you need to reintroduce some foods back into your diet that are not animal foods. Because the carnival diet, loads of people do not stay on it for the rest of their life. A lot of people get on this diet because it's one of the best elimination diets. And once it serves that purpose for resolving many different health issues and symptoms, like it did for me, then you could possibly possibly start reintroducing certain non-animal foods back into your diet one at a time see how you feel from them if you feel good from them go and continue eating them if you don't then remove them from your diet completely and always just have your mind open to everything and attached to nothing just because the carnival diet is working for you may not work later down the line or if it's not working for you now maybe it's not the most suitable diet for you it's about listening to your body experimenting and trying out new and different things when you need to and never holding on to a diet longer than it is necessary for you to do so because when you do that just like i did with being on a vegan diet for six years when it wasn't serving me because it was a malnourishing unsustainable diet i got massive negative effects with my health holistically if you don't know about that i talk about that full detail in another video that i link up above so yeah i will keep you updated on any other changes that i make with my diet and if you've got any questions or comments leave them down below don't forget to like share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis. So don't forget to enjoy your day, make the most of it, and catch you on the flip side. Peace.